Hi everybody, this is Brian Seymour, Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerington Local School District. I'd like to take a few minutes today to show you some of the um, ways to fix some of the most common questions that I've gotten here recently about how to get your Gmail set up. So this will be super quick. We're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about adding a picture, we're going to talk about signatures, um, and we're going to talk about, as some people have said, making my background on my Gmail pretty. Uh, basically adding a picture or different colors uh, to the background of your Gmail so it's not this white space as you see here now. Okay, So I've logged in. This is a fictitious account that we've created for training. Um, Bob Ross. Um, yes, happy little tree Bob Ross. Um, so what we're going to do is we're in Gmail. Um, this should look very familiar to what you have. And over here, there's this little button that says Settings, and it's the gear. So if you click on that and pull down to Settings, this is where we're going to make those changes at or add in your picture and add in your signature line. So here are your settings. Most of these settings are set for you. Um, we kind of set global settings for people that we felt, you know, it would be good for the masses. So if you want to make some changes to this, you're more than welcome to. Um, as we scroll down, uh, one of the first things you're going to see is my picture. Okay, and we're asking that everybody in the district add a picture. Um, this will go on your emails. This will go on shared documents, things like that. Basically, we're looking for a better way to match up a face with a name. Uh, we've got a considerable amount of people that, um, you know, when I'm emailing back and forth to people. I don't know who everybody is in the district. Um, you know, we have 1,200 staff members, so if I can start to put faces with names, um, that'll make things a little bit easier to communicate. You know, if I'm out in a building or something like that, uh, with, with who it is that I'm I'm having email conversations with. So if you click on select a picture, it's going to ask you to browse your computer to select a uh, a computer uh, uh, an image. It must be a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG file. Okay. Um, so we click on browse. I've got a little um, picture here of Bob Ross. So as we go over here, we're going to click on Bob Ross. And we're going to hit open. And now what it's going to let you do is it's going to allow you to crop that picture. So we want basically all of Bob Ross's face here. So this is kind of an image of what it is that we're looking for. When we apply those changes, things will then pop up. Okay. You then have two options, visible to everyone or visible to only the people I can chat with. Um, so if you do visible to everyone, that'll show up basically with everything. Visible only to the people I can chat with um, will be um, the people that are inside of the R domain, which is all of Pickerington, and anybody that you've added to, to Google Plus outside of our district. So either one of those is perfectly fine. doesn't matter to me. Okay. The next thing as you scroll down then is your signature. So this will go on the bottom of everybody's emails. So if we just go in and we just start typing. So Bob Ross, he is an art teacher. Um, he is at, let's say, Pickerington um, High School North. Um, he wants the phone number of the school in there. And he wants his email address. Okay, you can put what you want in there. Um, just remember this will go on every single email. Um, the whole thing with the, um, the warning piece that we asked people to put on years ago that said that this, is, this email is um, part of uh, you know, public record, blah, 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 that warning message that's been on. You do not have to include that. All right, Every single email that you send is already part of public record. Um, so if you want to include that, if you had it in first class and you want to include it over here, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but just remember, every single thing that you have in your email is considered public record and it can be requisitioned at any single time um, for anything that, that may be needed. All right, uh, Regardless of if you have that message in there at all or not. If you click this little bot box that's right below it, what happens with in first class is, let's say you have a, a thread of emails. When you have that thread of emails in first class, your um, signature line went all the way to the bottom. Okay, uh, It didn't really make sense so much. If you do click on this button, it will then put your signature in 
right after the email that you just sent. So instead of being all the way at the bottom, it will be stuck in the middle and make a little bit more sense. So I would recommend that you click on this because eventually you're going to get a string of emails. All right, so that is everything that's on here uh, to get started. Scroll down to Save Changes and click on that. Okay, so now if Bob Ross goes over here to compose an email, you'll notice that there is Bob Ross's uh, signature, and we notice that we've also got a picture up here of Bob Ross. Okay, the last thing that people have been asking for is how do I change the background or how do I make my desktop uh, pretty again? So you go back up to settings, go back up to the gears, pull back down to pull down to themes, and when you pull down to themes you now have all of these different colors okay and these things that are you know just standard ones for you you can click on any of these that you want so let's say you want the beach and give it a second and now you have the beach in the background if you don't like that one you want to go to something different say you want grass you can change it to grass If you want to make it some of these classic themes, if you want a ninja, you can change it to ninjas, so on and so forth. Okay, So lots of different pieces and parts and things that you can play with. You can even make it a single color if you want. If you want it to be mustard yellow, you can make it mustard yellow. If you want to go back to where you were originally, just click on light and that takes you back to what it is that you were original in. So let's say we'll put pebbles in. We go back to my email. And now there's my email. Okay? So three easy things to get started with. So adding a picture, making your signature line, and adding a background picture to Gmail if you would like. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other further questions, please let me know.